I have officially managed to get my TBR to below 30, so I figured it was about time. We did another online bookshop with me. I had such a good time doing this last time. This is generally how I buy a lot of my books because I like a good indie romance and my bookshops near me do not sell these books. So <laughs> I figured I would do exactly what we did last time. I'm gonna have a little scroll through Amazon with you. I'm also gonna have a scroll through the works. I used to have one of the works near me, but it shut down. So I'm gonna have a little look online. They tend to be quite good at doing like box sets for books so if there's anything that I fancy from there. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna have a scroll through both of them, compile a bit of a, a bit of a collection <laughs> and then once they arrive I will do an unboxing with you guys and we will add them to my TBR. One of my plans for next month is to do one of those unwrapping books and reading wrapped up books that sort of thing so with the TBR that I'm currently working with I feel like we've got slim pickings so I would like to rejuvenate my TBR so that we have more to wrap up and more for me to unwrap and read with you guys next month. I'm gonna start with Amazon I think and then we're gonna move on to the works. So I've just got my Amazon Amazon wishlist up. I have a very extensive Amazon wishlist. I do tend to like to just add any book that I'm vaguely interested to to this list. It works as almost like a TBR for me because my TBR on Goodreads is just books that I own so that I can see my physical TBR quite clearly. So these are all just general books that I fancy reading. I do have Divine Rivals on here. I'm really interested in reading this, but I might wait until the paperback is out because as it stands, it's $12.99 for the hardback and I don't really want the hardback when majority of my books are paperbacks. I then have Bloom, which I'm really interested in. I ended up watching a video by Riley Marie in which she read this and she absolutely adored it. It's like a sapphic horror book and it looks really, really good. But again, I might wait until the paperback is out because I think as it stands, that is the hardback. I'm really interested in If He Had Been With Me. I've heard a lot about this book, specifically from Sarah, <laughs> Sarah Caroli. She talks about this book and I'm pretty sure she adored this book. So that's, I think, why I added it to my wish list. I don't actually know what it's about. Maybe we should have a look at that before I end up adding it to my cart. Ah, uh, it's YA romance. I don't really do YA romances anymore. It's not really my thing. <laughs> So I might skim past that one for now. I don't know what this series is called, but we have Hooked, Scarred, Wretched, all of those ones, all by Emily McIntyre. I'm very interested in this series. I think I have read the first one, but I'm pretty sure I saw the box set on the works. So I'm gonna hold on to that. If it's not on the works, I might get them off of here, but I'm pretty sure I saw the box set for a pretty good price at the works when I was last looking at it. So I'm gonna hold on to that one for now. We then have Things We Left Behind. Now, <laughs> I can't even remember what the first book is called. Things We Never Got Over. Hated that book, awful, really, really did not like it. I think it's my most hated book that I have read this year. And I am going to read the second book in the series. It's on my TBR for this month. So I'm undecided as to whether I'm gonna get this. Part of me wants to get it at some point just to have read it and to finish the series, but I think I'm gonna read the second book first. See what the vibe is because I really did not like the first book. One Dark Window, now I'm really interested in this one. This might be one that I end up adding. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add the ones that I know I'm really interested in to my cart and then we'll reevaluate at the end. So I think I'm gonna add this one <laughs> because I really, really wanna read this book and I've heard amazing things. I also really, really want Caught Up. I don't know how people are getting copies of these. I don't know if there's a different release date for the US, but I have seen people with copies of these, but this doesn't come out until the 23rd of November for me. <laughs> people have been reading it and loving it and I'm here like, I can't get my hands on it. I can't get it. So that would be one I would add to my list if I could, but I wanna unbox all of these together so I don't wanna have to wait <laughs> until the 23rd of November to be able to open them all. Seven year slip, this is automatically going on. I knew before filming this that this was one that I was gonna add. I can't wait to read this. I love Ashley Poston. I have read The Dead Romantics and absolutely adored it. And I feel like this is a very similar vibe to that. So I'm adding that one for sure. I'm very tempted to add Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune. I read Every Summer After by Carly Fortune and I actually really liked it. And I feel like there's been some controversy with her books and not many people loving it, mainly because I feel like supposedly they are very similar to other books that are already out. So I don't know about this one. I think I'm gonna add it and I will reevaluate, but this is one that I'm interested in for sure, but I don't know if this is the one that people tend to not like quite as much. So I don't know. I've wanted to read The Bodyguard by Catherine Center for the longest time and it is down to £8.50. So I'm gonna add that one as well. <laughs> I don't know what this is about, but I remember hearing phenomenal things and people that didn't tend to like romance really loved this book. So I feel like that's that's a good sign. This has been on my wish list for like a good year at least, if not more, maybe two years ever since it came out and it's been sat in hardback for this whole time and it's been like 25 pounds and now it's eight pound in payback. So I will be getting that. I think I'm also gonna get The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I've heard amazing things about this. I don't know if it's gonna be my thing, but it's one of those similar to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder in which I thought it's not gonna be my thing, but everyone loves it. So maybe I will love it too. So I think I'm gonna get that. <laughs> And I'm just gonna get the first one and I'm gonna see how I feel. And then if I end up loving it, obviously I'll continue with the series. But I've heard just amazing things, mainly from Sarah and Des, about this whole series and about how amazing it is. So 
We shall see if I like it. I also really want Love Redesigned. I've been so excited for this book. I think it comes out, okay, it comes out on the 7th, which actually isn't too far away. It is the 5th at the minute. So I think I'm gonna add that to my basket. It did this thing last time where it adds it to my basket, but immediately takes me to the pay page. But if I cancel, it should still be on my basket. Hopefully. Funny story, I'm so excited for this. I don't actually know when this comes out. Has it got a release date on here yet? 25th of April. <laughs> That is so far away. I thought it was going to be released this year. In the weeds, I am very interested in this one also. I do have Love Light Farms also by BK Borosin. I'm going to be reading that in December for sure because that is like a Christmas tree farm romance. Okay, this looks good. This looks good. It's got Hannah Grace's blurb it. I love Hannah Grace. She is the author of Icebreaker and Wildfire. I love both of those books. I feel like, I feel like I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add this to my basket just for now just for now. I did also want to get the next book in the Brutal Birthright series, so that is Stolen Air. I read, what is it called? Brutal Prince, Brutal Prince. I read that and I enjoyed it, it was fine. So I feel like I want to carry on with the series just to see, because some people do say that it gets better the further into the series. So I'm gonna add this one to my basket as well because I'm, I'm very much intrigued. I'm also gonna add King of Greed. I am so excited for this. This is the third book in, I don't actually know what the new, is it the Kings of Sin? Is that what the series is called? It's the An Huang series. I love the first two books. I love everything that she writes. And this recently came out, I think literally like two days ago. I think it might be on the works for less. So I'm gonna add it to my basket and I'm gonna see. I did have a little peruse of the works the other day, which kind of spurred me on to do this. So I'm gonna have a look on the works as well. And if it's cheaper on that, obviously I'll get it over there instead. I don't think I'm gonna get any more of the Dirty Air series. I bought Throttled in my last episode of this and I didn't like it at all. And I am now very hesitant to continue with this series. So I'm gonna skim right past these for now because I just don't think it's for me. I really, really, really want to read Archer's Voice, but can someone tell me why it's consistently so expensive? I thought that this was traditionally published now because I've seen it in like bookshops, but it's still 13 pounds for the paperback. So I'm not so sure about that one. <laughs> so to recap, we've got King of Greed, Stolen Air, In the Weeds, Love Redesigned, the Naturals, The Bodyguard, Meet Me at the Lake, The Seven Year Slip, and One Dark Window. <laughs> that is slightly more than I was expecting, but we're gonna go over to the works now and have a look on there, and then we'll narrow them both down before I finalize it all. The first place I like to look on the works is Book Talk Books because they generally do have the like popular books. They have a they have a quite extensive selection here, so we're just gonna have a look through. See, look, yeah, I knew it. King of Greed is on here for six pounds instead. So I'm gonna add that to my basket on here and probably take it off of my Amazon one. And they do have the Never After Books box set, which I thought that they would do. And this is 20 pounds. And I think it would be 25 if I were to buy them all off Amazon. So I'm gonna add that one to my basket also. <laughs> I am very intrigued by The House Made by Freedom McFadden. Everyone seems to love Freedom McFadden recently. And I'm not really like a thriller girly at heart, but I've heard such good things. And I'm just, there's a part of me that's really intrigued and it's only £2.50, so I'm gonna add that one as well. <laughs> I don't really know what it's about, but I've just heard amazing things about her and everyone seems to love basically every book ever, but I think this is her most popular one. Also, this really intrigues me, the If Love series by Anna Huang. I have never heard of it and I saw it in the works not that long ago. If any of you guys have ever read any of these books, then let me know because I don't know, I've never heard of them and I'm surprised that I've never heard of them, but I'm intrigued, <laughs> so let me know if they're any good. I think I'm also gonna add my roommate as a vampire. I've heard such good things about this. I feel like I've maybe missed point of the year where I should have read it, but I've heard amazing things. Some of my subscribers have loved it. I also just saw Destiny read it and love it. So I feel like it's just, it's, it's in the stars. I need to at least give it a go. Everyone says it's really cute and it's really fun, so. I'm gonna try it. Oh my god, I've also seen really, really good things about Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. I'm gonna add that one as well because I've heard that it's amazing. One of the YouTubers that I'm subscribed to read this, adored it, gave it five stars, and ever since then it's been like on my radar or something that I really wanna read. And it's three pounds. I think that is it for the works as well. So to do another recap, we've got King of Greed, the Never After series, The Housemaid, my roommate is a vampire and then forget me not. I feel like there's none of these that I want to get rid of. So I'm gonna leave it as is and I'm gonna quickly go back over to Amazon and we're gonna reevaluate. So I'm gonna get rid of King of Greed on here because obviously I already have it on my works order. Hmm. I think I'm gonna get rid of Meet Me at the Lake for now just because it's the one that I'm sort of least interested in out of this whole bunch. So I think I've got my final list. I'm gonna get Stolen Air, In the Weeds, Love Redesigned, The Naturals, The Bodyguard, The Seven Year Slip and then One Dark Window off of Amazon. And then I've still got King of Greed, The Never After series, The Housemaid, My Roommate is a Vampire, and Forget Me Not at the works. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and order these and I will check in with you once I have all of my packages and we will do an unboxing together, which I feel like is always the best bit <laughs> of the video. Oh my God, I can't lift, <laughs> I can't lift these. Oh, my packages have, I was gonna say finally arrived. It's been one day um, since I actually 
bought these. They arrived the next day, so I'm here to unbox them. I know that I still have two books outstanding. I have Love Redesigned and I also have Iron Flame, both of which are gonna be arriving tomorrow. So I don't know if I'll include those in this video, but as of right now, I do have these two <laughs> huge boxes to open. Obviously you guys know what's gonna be in these, but I'm still very excited to open them up. I'm gonna start with the one from the works. I only have these tiny little like, <laughs> nail cutting scissors because I broke my big ones. They snapped literally clean in half um, and I haven't replaced them yet. So this might be a little bit tricky to try and get into, but we will work with it. We will see what we can do. They've like banded them together so that they're in big chunks. Let's see what I can do. Oh my God, it's literally in <laughs> one big brick. So the first thing that I'm seeing on the stack is Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. I don't know a single thing about what this is about. All I know is that it's very cute, supposedly, and everyone seems to love it. Apparently our main character is a wedding planner and then she gets the job of her dreams, a headline grabbing wedding for a glamorous influencer and her fiance. But the florist is none other than Elliot Bloom. Obviously, because why would your surname not be Bloom if you were a florist? <laughs> and it's her ex. And she broke his heart two years ago, supposedly. So it's like a second chance thing. Okay, I can get behind this. And it is blurred by Abby Jimenez, who says it is a spicy bouquet of thorns and roses, supposedly. So <laughs> I'm very excited for that one. Oh my God, the next one we have in this stack is My Roommate is a Vampire by Jenna Levine. I have heard nothing but amazing things about this. Everyone has said it's adorable and that it's great and just that it's a really cute read. So from what I know about it, our main character needs somewhere to live and she manages to find somewhere that's like really cheap. And she moves in and this guy obviously that she moves in with is a bit weird. He's called Frederick J. Fitzwilliam. <laughs> He sleeps all day, is out at night on business and talks like he walked out of a Regency romance novel. He also supposedly leaves her heart melting notes around the apartment, always asks about her day and doesn't look half bad shirtless. <laughs> because of course. And apparently he's like a vampire and he's apparently the cutest guy ever. And I remember Des reading this and saying that he references 1989 Taylor's version. So need I say more? I then have The Housemaid by Freedom McFadden. This, I don't know a single thing about. Not a clue, babes, not a single clue. I just know that it's some sort of thriller. So from the back, it looks like she is like a cleaner or a nanny, but I guess a housemaid, obviously. And she goes to try on one of the dresses of this like really posh woman and her door gets locked from the outside. And maybe she's like captive? I don't know, but it's like a thriller with this housemaid who I think ends up being kept captive by the person she works for. So that sounds interesting and it's nice and short to be fair. I then have King of Greed by Anna Huang. I'm so excited for this. This is the third book in the Kings of Sin series. I have loved the first two books. I have loved every book that I have read by Anna Huang. I think this is gonna be great. I think this is about, yeah, this is about Dominic. And this one, I'm pretty sure through context clues from the last few books, Dominic has a wife and I don't know if it's them like rekindling. Yeah, it says here, it isn't until she's gone that he realizes there may be more to life than riches and glory. But by then it might be too late. So I'm thinking it's like a second chance, like redemption, saving marriage kind of story. <laughs> but I'm here for it because I love that series and I love Anna Huang. And then last but not least, they've split these up. So I've got the box set for the Never After series, but I think this is the last book in the series and this one is like separate. So <laughs> either way, I've got Got hooked, scarred, wretched. I, don't, I never know how you pronounce that. Wretched? Wretched? <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing that I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, either way, I've got wretched and then twisted and then crossed. I believe that is the order that they go in. I think crossed is the last one. I have read hooked. I don't remember a single thing about it. So I will probably end up rereading it before I go on to read the rest of the series because I don't remember it at all. I used to get books on my Kindle Unlimited when I used to work as a midwife. And I used to get like really easy read, like spicy books on my Kindle Unlimited when I used to work as a midwife so that I could read them on my shifts, specifically on night shifts. I worked a lot on night shifts and obviously on like my breaks and stuff to try to keep myself awake. I would try and read as many books as possible. And I feel like that was one of the books that I read on one of those night shifts and it's just gone from my memory. So <laughs> I need to give that another go. That is everything that I got from the works, which is quite a good stack to be fair. And now I'm gonna open the Amazon box, which I am very excited about. Get my trusty nail scissors out. <laughs> this is so, tr so tragic. I just need to invest in another pair of scissors. Is it really that hard? Like this is taking 10 times longer than it would if I just bought a normal pair of scissors or if I just went downstairs and got the other pair of scissors that I have. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna look, I'm gonna literally just pull them out at random because at least this time they won't be banded up together. So, oh, I'm so excited for this one. This is The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this. I know that Destiny read it 
adored it and then I think Sarah read it after and also adored it. I have read The Dead Romantics by Ashley Boston. I love that book. It is like, I don't actually know what I rated it. I feel like it was a 4.5 but I think about it all the time. I adore that book so much. I would highly recommend. And this follows kind of like a similar idea. This woman moves into an apartment but there's a man that also happens to live there but he is stuck like seven years in the past. So he's kind of a ghost but he's kind of not and they're like living together but kind of not. I don't really know but there's like a romance subplot. I'm very excited, very excited. I feel like I'll be reading this this month because for some reason it gives me fall vibes maybe just because everyone's been reading it in fall. Um, I don't think it's set in the fall <laughs> but still I am, I'm very excited for this. The next one I have is Stolen Air by Sophie Lark. This is the second book in the Brutal Birthright series. I always get them confused. It's not the Kingmakers, it's the Brutal Birthright. I think Kingmakers is the series that comes after this. I have read the first book, which was Brutal Prince. I did like it. I don't think it was phenomenal, but I did enjoy myself. I think I gave it like a 3.5. And so I'm gonna slowly buy each book. Instead of buying the whole series, I think I'm gonna buy them one at a time so that I can solidify the fact that I like them before I buy the whole thing. So this is the next one in the series. I don't actually know who this follows and I can't really remember all that much about the other one. So I don't think I'd recognize them even if I could, but it's like a mafia. It's not really a dark romance, but it's like a mafia vibes romance. It's spicy. I'm excited. This cover is also gorgeous. They redesigned the covers for this series and I think that they're stunning. That's another reason why <laughs> I wanted to get my hands on them. Okay, we have The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. I have wanted to read this for years. I think I said it in the first bit when I was actually buying these. I have wanted this for so long, but it's been in hardback and it's been like over 20 pounds for like two years. And I was like, I don't really want the hardback of this book. I want the paperback, but I don't want to spend like 20 quid on this. So I waited and waited and waited and it's finally out in paperback. I don't know why it took so long. Oh, fun, she's his bodyguard. In my mind, I just assumed that he would be her bodyguard. So Hannah might look like a kindergarten teacher, but the truth is she's an elite bodyguard. Jack is an impossibly handsome world famous actor who has everything, including a corgi breeding stalker. Right? <laughs> oh, so Jack has to go back home because his mum gets sick, but she doesn't want them to find out about the stalker thing. So he enlists Hannah as his bodyguard, but he also doesn't want them to know that he needs a bodyguard because otherwise they would know about the stalker thing. So she pretends to be his girlfriend. I'm gonna love this. I think I've said in other videos, I love bodyguard romances and I love fake dating and I've heard amazing things. This is, this is so exciting to me. <laughs> the next one we have here is One Dark Window by Rachel Gilling. I, Gillig, Gillig. I don't know what this is about either, really. I have heard, again, really good things about this and I put it on my full TBR and I didn't even own it. So here we are, I'm making that step <laughs> towards reading my full TBR. I have heard that it is like kind of a fantasy thing. So she runs into this highwayman and she ends up going on a quest with him essentially in order to save her town from like the, some sort of like magical blight that it has. And there's a romance, obviously, obviously. And there's some sort of monster thing that is called Nightmare. That's about all I can see, but I've heard really good things about it. I don't know if this is YA or adult or anything, but I've heard great things and it gives very much full vibes. So hopefully I'll be reading it this month before it gets too wintry vibes. Cause I feel like <laughs> Fall doesn't last very long and I've not got very long to try and cram in all the fall reads that I want. We then have In the Weeds by BK Borison. I again haven't actually read anything from BK Borison but I do own Love Light Farms which is like a Christmas tree farm romance. Everyone says it's great. I will definitely be reading it in December. I've already got plans. So that's like my one Christmassy book that I own so I will be reading it in December. I think I looked at the plot of this when I was actually buying it. Our main character turns up on the love interest's farm to do like a social media contest and oh okay fine so they'd already met at a bar and then she turns up to this contest at his farm and he's like boggled because he didn't expect her to be some sort of world famous social media influencer. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. This again gives Actually, no, I was gonna say it gives full vibes. I think that's just because of the colors, but I think it's more summery, maybe. It's gonna be fun. We are on to the last book of this haul. It's The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I've seen both Sarah and Des talk about this and everyone seems to adore it. Apparently it's like Criminal Minds, but I haven't watched Criminal Minds. I don't know if that's like a US <laughs> show, but I have never watched it. But apparently there's this group of people who all have specific skills when it comes to, I guess, investigating. So like profiling, things like that and they gather this group of people in order to take part in what they call the naturals program, I think it is. And they have to like solve cold cases or something, but I think there's an underlying other plot going on as well. That was the most wishy-washy description I could have possibly given you, but <laughs> that's basically my understanding of this. Again, I only bought the first book. I'm trying to be better about only buying first books 
and not buying entire series. I say that and I've bought the whole <laughs> Never After series, but still, still. I'm trying my best to at least try the first one before I buy the whole thing, because if I don't like it and then I own the whole series, I'm in a bit of a predicament. So I'm excited for this. Apparently it's meant to be a really quick read as well, and it's really fun. And it's something different because I mainly read romances, as you can see on my channel. Romances and fantasy, that's my main thing. So I'm trying to branch out at least a little bit. So I'm excited for this one. That is my little stack for the Amazon section of the video. But, oh my God, <laughs> this is my stack for the entire video. This is heavy as hell, oh my God. I'm gonna count, I don't actually know how many I've got. I have 15 here and I do also have Love Redesigned on the way and I also do have Iron Flame. I didn't buy that with you guys because I pre-ordered that ages ago. <laughs> but that is coming tomorrow. But I think that's a pretty good stack and only one of these books I have actually read. I'm trying to get books that I haven't read because I want to replenish my TBR for the, for the coming months. But yeah, I feel like this is a pretty sizable collection. If you guys have read any of these books, loved any of these books, do let me know. But that is it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed. I am now gonna try and put all of these back onto my shelves and add them all to my Goodreads. My wish list is linked down below. I again use that as kind of my TBR. My TBR on my Goodreads is only my physical TBR because it helps me to get to grips as to why I actually own. So if you wanna see my actual TBR, <laughs> then feel free to have a look at my wish list. Again, my Goodreads is also down there and my Instagram, everything below as always. But thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being here and I will see you whenever I next see you.